Vilma, Live in L.A., Season 3, Episode 18. GFA, Global Filipino Welcome to Velma Live in LA, and it is episode 18 right here on the Jiffin channel. And tonight we've got part two of the interviews with Johnny Lau, and he talks about his amazing recovery after being paralyzed, and he couldn't sing, he couldn't walk, he couldn't talk, and he was just so remarkable to watch that. And uh, I also get to jam with Lito Castillo, who is a master keyboardist and also chairman of the HKMU. And just so you know, to jam um, on Zoom, online, and there's latency. He's in Hong Kong. I'm in Los Angeles. Wow. He did such an amazing job. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed every moment of it. And plus, we get to revisit... Christmas 2020. Yeah, last year. And we've got Coco Abigail and my nieces and nephew, that would be Zach, Zara, and Sienna. Plus a whole lot of love just for you. Okay, so we get to say hello to all of our friends now. And uh, yeah, let's start with Cali all over California, plus New York. And we've got them in Boston. We have them over in Canada. That's Toronto, Vancouver, and also in Hong Kong. Yes, plus Manila and in Japan, plus all over Europe, we've got you covered. So thank you for joining me on Velma Live in LA. And I do it, yes, because you're there, because it's for you. So on with our show. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Johnny Lau on Vilma, live in LA. I'll have a blue Christmas. Without you, I'll be so blue just thinking about you. See you on Christmas Day. Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree. Okay, here we go with Lito Castillo and jamming it up. And just again, a reminder that we did this via Zoom and 
Yeah, we had a whole lot of fun, latency and all. Here we go. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. And the world holds a hand. And the world, darling, kiss me. Fill more with song and let me stay forever. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. Go away, go ahead. I do, I do actually. Yeah. Actually, before we zoomed, I was writing something. Uh, my, I'm trying to finish my, I'm trying to finish my Christmas song. Oh. And you can't, you actually cannot see the keyboard around me. I've got one, two, three keyboards around me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, but I have like um, a green screen background behind me. Ah, uh, okay. That's what we're doing. Uh, so nice. Okay, so have you got a message for any musicians out there? Any kind, of, you just want to say something? Of course. Of course. I mean, for all the musicians around the world, please just hang on. Uh, with this pandemic, your music is not going to leave you. This pandemic is going to leave us soon. We, we, we have some uh, people working on this pandemic, but the music, you don't stop playing, even when you go old grow old and uh, you know you can do other jobs or other things in the world but music is not going to leave you and you will be a musician forever in your life yeah. that's my message for that you know? uh, thank you so much for being with us lito hong kong musicians union chairman for this year and you know for many more years to come thank you so much most welcome, Bruno. I hope I could see you again back here in Hong Kong, and mm -hmm. maybe I can visit you in the States soon. Yes, absolutely.
Johnny Law is next and again he talks about his amazing recovery from paralysis so check it out recording artist from Hong Kong Johnny Lau treat me like a fool treat me me and true beloved the Hong Kong music scene has transformed through the years. Can you tell me, you know, how the changes, you know, how has it affected you or how has it uh, benefited you? Um, actually, there is a big transformation throughout the world. Um, I committed into online shows. Yes. Very favorite. So starting from around uh, five months ago, I started playing Clubhouse. And um, I have, uh, uh, you know, the, the reason that I want to start it up, because I have a stroke one and a half year ago. Yeah, and I was totally paralyzed, half body paralyzed, and couldn't even talk. Yeah, so um, I went into the um, uh, Clubhouse so I could, face the people there without talking, without, without showing my face. You know? And um, at first when I talked, you know, um, I find it out so hard for me to think about vocabularies. And um, I, I could hardly talk and I could hardly sing. Um, I could hardly even um, maintain myself in high pitch. You know, it's, it's really, uh, it's really sad. Yeah. yeah. And so I encountered a uh, club host there. So I forced myself in singing, singing, singing there. And um, and um, finally, after that few few months, uh, I have two online show every month myself, run yes. by my own home room. And I have um, four to five invitation a week, uh, run by other room. They invite me to be singing there, but not just a few songs, but running private show for me. Wow. So you were able to overcome, like you said, being paralyzed, not being able to sing. Um, how were you able to do that? Can you share? Well, it's hard to say because um, half my body was paralyzed. Right. Memory, and uh, it happens in my memory area. Yes. I can't things yet yeah, short-term memory all finished i can't remember the lyrics and um half of my vocal cord half yes is paralyzed wow. and um you know it's just like my left uh, my left left hand body could move my right hand is it's like a new shell yeah, yeah i got gotta know how to manage it you know and um, a lot of people, if they um, if they're singer, you know, encounter this kind of thing, they would have abandoned themselves. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't, because I have uh, thought I have a lot in my mind, and I have two. Um, I have um, Bobby Taylor, which is gone in heaven, supporting me, and I have Dennis, the Danny okay. Pierce, and. Um, they are all giving me a phone you know, every week, you know, uh, uh, you got to work hard for it, you know. It's not pressure, but um, it's, it's, um, it's a kind of energy, you know. Yes. Giving back, giving me back, uh, some energy back to me. And most of the important thing is that it's my fans. You know, they are so uh, touching me, you know, they are, they are, um, they always want me out to have okay. tea with them. They want to talk to me. They want to um, uh, and overcome my problem, you know. Yeah. Um, this also is because of me, you know. I am uh, the kind of person who always want to fight. I I don't believe in. I can't do it. I gotta do it, you know. And um, that's why a um, few months ago, people would try to interview, interview me, and I reject. I can't do it, you know. And um, you are the one that you know. I have guts to be interviewed by you and um, because I I think I could talk, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm so honored. Thank you. And I, I love the fact that you're opening this up because 
it really shows how you never give up and that you can do anything you want to do and you can overcome anything. And I believe yeah. that you really have a mission to be able to uh, share this story and touch people's lives. Yeah, and uh, at the moment I have some people uh, who have um, who have stroke in their life. Yes. Can't move. Um, maybe after all the after all for um, many years they still can't move. I'm going to help them, you know, and 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 encourage them to do some exercise and things, you know. And look at me, you know, I am, I I was paralyzed, but I can't move. I know. Look at yeah. you. So did it just happen or did you have like therapy or exercise and you're singing, you had to do vocalize again? Um, well, I have, you know, it's quite sad that the, the hospital didn't give me any training. Whoa. No, no. And uh, they, uh, after, uh, after one year, one yeah. year after I, get out of, of, of the hospital. I complained them and they started giving me treatment. One year after I get out of, of this hospital. And um, those three treatment, I could say it's useless, but um, it's very less use for me. Um, I have um, the treatment I have encountered um, the best are from my fans. First, uh, many of them, given me given me um, um, medicine given me uh, some uh, supplements and uh, give me treatments of magnetic treatments okay magnetic treatments and also that's where I treat myself most love conquers everything yes yeah they love me very much and um, that's why um, I cure so fast. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine because when I met you, you're already, you know, functioning so well. And I'm watching your videos and it's just amazing. Well, uh, the video uh, was um, what's the video that I should be for my stroke. Yes. And uh, after I have my stroke, um, I barely should video, you know, I don't want to look to, for, for myself in a video with um, stupid speaking, you know, and um, my vocabulary, what's gone? You know, I don't know where, how to speak, you know. I don't want to look in, into myself on videos. So I should have photograph, it's okay. And, uh, but, you know, since last year, um, since one year ago, I showed a video because my birthday party there, and I want to thank uh, my, um, my, uh, my fans for supporting me. I look, stupid on on the videos you know I, then i don't want to look to myself but until now you know i'm cured and um as something like um 98 cure so that's you know uh you want to interview me i'm in, i'm in i'm so happy oh my i mean i really i feel good because i guess this is part of your transformation this is part of your healing Let's dance. Pull on your red shoes and dance. Let's dance. the stars and also um, the on the same side um, the difference the, the before and after thing and um, I could sing um, one keep lower than yeah. now than then before but i could kind of, i could sing as high as before okay I, I could sing lower but i could sing higher well <clears throat> by the way i couldn't dance as dance as like before you know <laughs> yeah 
facets before, but I, I am sure that um, with more exercise and everything, you know, I will be not just like before, better than before. Much better than before. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I'm so inspired. Thank you so much. And what are your future projects that you'd like to work on besides healing some more? I got a dream. Okay. Um, to, to perform, perform, uh, for, for perform in the future. I like to perform in Royal Albert Hall. Yes, the Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, that's my dream there, and um, it's got to be step by step. You know, yes. I, <clears throat> um, I won't urge myself so fast because since I step into jazz singing already, uh, jazz make me to be lengthen my. Uh, well, it's just like adding an extension to my career. Then a lot like pop, you know, you could, could be gone very fast, very fast. Yeah. And uh, jazz could be singing until 80 years old, 90 years old. You are still a star there. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I, was, I was talking to my bandmate, um, Baloo and everybody, you yes. know, and we were having um, a band practice, practice ye yesterday. And we were saying, you know, or I was saying, now, as we go older, you know, as we're getting old, I think our our country band will even be better, you know, because uh, like William Nelson and everybody, you know, they are um, old, but it 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 adds some spice into getting our singing. Getting better, getting better yeah. and better. Yeah, right. When you were young, you said you traveled to Philippines a lot. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I like to... Um, I traveled to Philippines a lot when I was young, and that's why you know I know Filipinos so much. Um, uh, well, during that time, I think I've been to Philippines over twenty-five times. You know. So wow! And then you were just talking about how your rehearsal a um, couple of days ago, yesterday, how the band members were looking at you because now you're able to remember your lyrics so well without having to read? Yeah, right. Um, they were so happy then. Uh, I remember uh, when I was saying then, well, we, we have a long rehearsal yesterday. That's three hours. And I was saying then, and um, they were looking at me. They were waiting for my mistake. When I hit the high notes and everything, oh, they say, you know. Uh, something so, so magical happened. Yeah. you know, That's why, you know, I love them. And, um, they're really my brothers. Yeah. So I would like to ask you for your advice to viewers out there. If they ch face the same challenge as you, what advice would you give them? I would like to say, um, believe in your faith. That's one important thing. Second is that, you know, never give up about um, in the music scene. Since uh, they have already been um, uh, jump into the music scene, working there as a work uh, as a, mus a musician already, never jump out, you know, there until you know if, if they find a job, you know, later on, jump back there, you know. Okay. There we will really believe it, and there will always be chance waiting for you, you know. Well, that's wonderful. Well, Johnny, thank you so much. So you keep rocking and you keep jazzing it up and I will be following you. And let's invite our viewers to uh, your online show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please um, subscribe me and uh, join me at um, Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Perfect. Yeah. So thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> I'll have a blue Christmas without you I'll be so blue just thinking about you Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree Won't be the same, dear if you're not here with me 
And when those blue snowflakes start falling That's when those blue memories start calling You'll be doing alright with your Christmas of white But I'll have a blue, 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 blue Christmas Christmas 2020 with Coco, Abigail, Zach, Zara, and Sienna, and much, much more. So here it is. Oh, we've got Coco, Abigail, baking reindeer cookies. So she's going to show us exactly how it's done. Take it away, Coco. Welcome to Vilma Live in LA. My name is Coco Abigail. Today we'll be making Christmas reindeer cookies with you. The ingredients are two and three fourth cups of flour, one cup of unsalted butter, very, very soft, one and a half cups of white sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon baking powder, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. For decoration, you'll need some pretzels, some semi-sweet chocolate chips, some M&Ms, any color you like, but since my favorite reindeer is Rudolph, I have all red. Some vanilla frosting. You can use any recipe you'd like, but for the purpose of this video, we would just use Star Pot. First thing you gotta do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Cream butter and sugar until smooth. You can do this by hand, but the mixer is faster. Now it's time to add in the egg and vanilla. So here I mix the baking powder and baking soda into the flour. We will gradually mix it in the mixture. Is ready. 
take a teaspoonful of dough, roll it into balls, and put it on the baking pan. These babies are going to the oven. Yay! Now that our cookies are completely cooled down, it's time for my favorite part, decorating! So this is our finished product, but wait, let's taste it. Mmm! I'm sure the kids and the kids at heart will enjoy these Christmas cookies this Christmas season. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, everybody. Coco Abigail signing out. Yeah. <laughs>
Coco Abigail. That was absolutely wonderful. And next week, she's got more to give us. Thank you again. Okay, do you remember that next week we have our holiday edition? Yep, we've got guests from the GFN family, plus other guests. Yes, my special friends. They're going to be right here on Vilma, live in LA, our holiday edition. So join me, okay? Vilma, live in LA, presents the holiday edition with the GFN family. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Have yourself a merry little Christmas Let your heart be light It's the time of year when good friends are near Trying hard to find A quiet moment Mumukutikutitap Mumubusibusilak Ganyan ang indak ng mga bumbilya Kikindat-kindat Kukurap The Holiday Edition With the Jiffen Family Johnny Lau on Vilma Live in LA I'll have a blue Christmas without you I'll be so blue just thinking about you See you on Christmas Day Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree Coco Abigail on the live and I Yet for 
and thank you so much for being here with me on Vilma Live in LA. As always, it's because of you that I continue doing this. I love what I do and I love you guys so much. And since a 2022 is coming up, start thinking about, you know, your wishes, what you'd like to accomplish. And also, you know, for me, I am so grateful that you're here, that I'm on GFN, that I have Vilma Live in LA, and that I get to spend every week with you. And so 2022 will be even better. So it's a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of love. So from me to you guys, a whole lot of Ding! Every day is a good day.